Okay. What the guy's doing, this is usually, we'll show you a little bit about what we do at Classic. That's our entire group. That's who's building your instruments for you. Well, when you order your gauge or custom gauge, that's what's really going on. We do have a little bit of fun. Um, the idea, I get to work every day. I don't have to work every day. I'm a blessed man. I really enjoy this industry. I love what I do, and I love the people I work with. My best friends in my life are in this industry. So um, why not have a little fun while we're doing it? Classic Instruments um, started in Portland, Oregon by Frank and Shirley Heddick. In 1977, uh, we purchased Classic Instruments, moved it to Boyne City, four hours due north of here, um, just building a new facility. The number one thing that we did when we bought Classic Instruments, we looked at what we got. Frank and Shirley did a wonderful job of quality. They understood the importance of quality. They understood building a good product, take care of your customer, and that the rest will take care of itself but we want to take it to the next level. I believe that taking care of the customer to the nth degree is where the competition lies. We have competitors out there. There's other instruments you have a choice from, and there's a few of them that are very good at what they do. There's a few bad ones, but there's some good ones. So what makes it different? We do, we do uh, I believe we're the best in design. I have some of the best designers in the world that work with us. Tom Gale, who's the senior vice president of Chrysler Corporation, who gave you your Viper, your Prowler, your PT Cruiser. Tom's a personal friend of mine. And Tom has been working very close with me, teaching me what design means, what colors, what fonts, what things like that. So we move forward in that area. And then customer service. Listen to your customers. God gave us two ears and one mouth. Use it in that way. My personal cell phone that I'm carrying in my pocket is in the front of every catalog that's ever been printed. That's available 365 days a year, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You can call me personally as the owner of the company with any question, any time, for anything. That's what we'll do to support you as a dealer, as a customer, because we all know most of our customers that either you're doing or yourself, most of us work for a living and we want to work on our projects over the weekends. They have that little window of time to have their fun. And if it's not having fun with it, if they missed a part, don't understand something, then their fun's away. Then they have to wait till next weekend. So we believe we should be here for them. So you'd be flexible. Quick turnaround, every one of our products, we do not pre-build gauges. That means there is no instruments sitting on a shelf ready for you when you call. We will guarantee that we will manufacture, ship your gauge within 48 hours of your phone call. Anything that's in that catalog is a standard part. We will manufacture, ship in 48 hours, guaranteed. So we know when you get that instrument, it works because we made it work. We tested it. Wired, test, sending units to match, you have it. Within 48 hours of you saying, I want it, you have it, and we know for a fact it worked. It didn't sit on a shelf. It was not 10 years old. It's days old. If you're within a certain radius, it's within 24 hours being old once you receive it. Again, we work very hard. Make, makes our inventory huge because I have to have all those parts available instantly for you. But the flexibility part, if you want a red pointer on a green gauge, or a white pointer on a blue gauge, however the mix, we can mix on the fly. I can change bezels, I can change diffusers, I can change pointers, face plates, glass, flat, curved, all of that stuff I can change by changing the manufacturing process to go through. Flexibility, customer service, listen to them. Seven year warranty, across the board. Everything we have, seven year warranty. What does that mean? It means nothing. It's a number to play with. As long as you own a classic instruments, if it says classic instruments on it, if it was a manufacturer defect, I guarantee you will take care of it, no questions asked. Don't lie to me, I'll take care of you. Lie to me, I'll charge you double. That's just the way it goes. I mean, it's an instrument, it's an electronic part. They fail, they can fail. We do have an optional lifetime warranty. We call it an optional lifetime warranty. It's a full-time warranty. Recent history, blowing my own horn here for a minute. The uh, airplane view is our new facility. Um, we just built a brand new state-of-the-art facility 
um, that is designed for building gauges. Every piece of this new building is designed to sell gauges, get you gauges, manufacture gauges, and also our custom department. We've been very blessed by the industry. 2012, we were named uh, manu uh, National Street Route Association, named us Manufacturer of the Year. SEMA, HRA, named us Business of the Year. Um, product of the Year, for, um, we won with our TAC Force, SkyDrive, Esquire Series, 2008, 12, and 13. Uh, we, we got New Product of the Year. Um, at Street Rod Nationals, the All-American Package was named New Product of the Year in 2005. SkyDrive, 2011. Esquire, 2013. Um, SEMA Product of the Year, which is the holy grail that all of us in manufacturing are after. We won um, New Product of the Year in SEMA in 2011. Estelgia VT, uh, Esquire again, 2013, 2012. And Global Media Awards, so that's bigger. That's the whole piece. We won 2011, uh, two of them. Esquire won one, 2012, 2013. Um, Inc. 5000, most of you are uh, familiar with Inc. 5000. Three years in a row, we've been named top 5,000 companies in the USA. And um, just recently, in Michigan, the governor named us the top 50 companies in Michigan to keep an eye on. And then we were given a gift by the governor and actually brought down to the um, capital and given the award by the governor. That's by a, a group of guys and women, there's uh, 19 of us, up in northern Michigan, did this all within a 10-year window. That's the type of people and dedication that Classic Instruments is giving to all of our customers. This is all within 10 years and most of the same people. I'm very, very blessed to have the best employees in the business. This is what they accomplished. I'm just along for the ride. The new state art facility is what we talked about creating. Just a couple pictures on what we do. R&D room, what the building looks like from the outside, a little bit of construction pieces, and also machine shop. I also like to try to take care of the environment. We will have the first permeable parking lot north of Bay City. Nobody's tried to do permeable parking lot. The runoff for our, where our particular business park in runs off into the river. I don't, think it, I don't think they did that properly. So instead of going and complaining and trying to change the world, we're just gonna change it within ourselves. And again, not making a big statement, not out grabbing a tree, gonna chain myself to it, anything like that. Just trying to be a little bit more uh, environmental aware of what's going on. My daughter works for the Audubon Society out in Portland, so she trains me a little bit on this stuff. Yes, sir. That's where I'm from, which is a great question. Um, I am the owner of the um, Classic Instruments. I'm a retired police officer. Um, I retired early, so I walked off 16 years of uh, foot patrol. I was one year in the Marine Division and 16 years on the road. I had the opportunity to build cars. For 16 years during that time, I built high-end show cars um, for Great Lakes Motor Works. Um, won Amelia Island with a car, Blue Ribbon to Pebble Beach, um, multiple wins uh, down here at Meadowbrook. Top 100 cars, multiple show cars here at Autorama. Probably put about 100 cars out total. Had about 19 guys, 17, 19 guys building cars. While I was building cars, Classic Instruments, we used their products. Found out they were for sale. Bought the company and I focused on gauges. That's a quick story about me. Um, I'm married. I have two children. Um, my son, uh, stepson, lives in Chicago. Uh, master's degree in classical music. My daughter, stepdaughter, uh, lives in Portland, Oregon. She works for the Audubon Society. Neither one of them owned a car up until a year ago. Go figure. Do you make your own movements? Uh, make our own movements. We make components within the movements and we do all assembly. There's a few of the parts, the windings, that we do not presently do in house. Um, they are manufactured here in the States. So. The no, they're air cord, air cords. The air cords were um, done away with. Oh, they're still available, but um, the accuracy is very, they call those wiggler gauges. So, um, and, and just in finishing that, um, very important, my family um, is to me, and um, I'm a big family guy. My grandfather owned a pattern making company down here, Lincoln Model and Pattern. So we worked for Chrysler and Ford making models when it was making out of wood. My dad came out of that. My grandfather died very young. My dad was too young to take over the family business, moved north, and bought a flower shop. Go figure. Um, uh, but in a flower shop, he drove a 58 sedan delivery and delivered flowers. So hot riding's been in my life all the time. Um, focus on education. I am a strong, strong believer that if we're not focusing on giving back, passing the torch, that this hobby that we have, sport, whatever it is, is going to go away. I love seeing the young faces here, things like that. I used to be the young guy, now I'm the old guy. And so I focus on training my employees and hiring young people to bring that piece in. That's why I also sit on the chair elect for the HRA group that's putting this on. 
and then I will be chair um, after January, and we're focused on the youth. I believe in it very strongly. Um, so I like working, educating with my uh, um, employees, educating dealers for product awareness, doing these seminars, putting out the newsletters. If you want a newsletter, contact us, we'll put you on the list. Educating the youth, passing it towards the future. That's huge. And it's this group of people, um, that's my present staff right there. And um, that is us out in front of our duck pond. Uh, that's the group of people that I get to work with. And most companies are a pyramid. You know, the boss is on the top and they kind of go down. That's, uh, Maslow had a theory on that. There's a bunch of theories if you guys followed that. I disagree with them. I think the triangle's upside down. I think I'm at the bottom. These are the people making it happen. They're the running the equipment, they're doing that. I have a very, very strong belief that the employees are the most important thing, and I'm just the guy that kind of directs. Some days I'm a fireman, some days I'm a janitor. That's Johnny Speed, that's my mascot. You'll see him everywhere, and you find him in catalogs and pictures. Thank you for noticing that. I'm gonna buzz through these guys just because of time. Um, these are our standard products. Just in how, we, how you order or how you go through to help your customer to get a product is basically a VIN number. All of us know what a VIN code is. If you're a car guy, gal, you know what a VIN code is. Each number or letter has a designation in an area. By changing that number or letter, you get a different part. That's how exactly how we set up a part because we have so many options. It's endless. So you learn that VIN code, we'll train it to you. I'm not gonna train it to you today because we only have an hour, but I'm gonna give you a basic idea. That's our standard catalog series that you have. Those are, what you see in the catalog is the way we designed it. You can take any one of those bezels, any one of those pointers, and move them to any gauge. So you can just start to see the variations that you can do. That's what we, we have to have a standard. We have a place where we start. And then we can adjust from there. The pointers, the chrome pointers, we make in-house. They're sent to advanced plating, chrome plated, sent back. We balance them and install them. Some of those are painted, some of those are powder coated, some of them are chrome plated. Every one of them has a different feel, different look. The only time you have to balance a pointer is three inches or larger. When they're smaller than three inches, we can start getting away and getting fancy and not balance it. But when you get into three inches and larger, you have to have a balanced pointer so shape starts to make sense to you why you put little moons on the back or little spades. It's a counterweight, it has to be there. If you want the gauge accurate, it has to be there. Quickly, here's what your typical piece of what the VIN code is. An AWOOSLF, all American, five gauge set, stainless low step bezel, flat lens. Kind of gives you a little idea what happens. Change any one of those, you can have a different set, different series, different bezel, different lens. Does that make sense? So there would be your first series codes. There's all your choices of all your gauges. Next one is your series. That means you want a speedo tack, speedo tack, quad, speedo, whatever all the pieces are. And these are all the different standard options. Five inch, three inch, two inch, and you just start seeing, we made the sets, all the different sets that most all vehicles use. Next you have the bezel. All the different bezel choices. So you, you're, now you can pick a stainless low, stainless high, radio, black radio, black matte gold. All the different bezels that you have the options. We crimp the bezels. We have the bezels stamped off out of our office. I don't have the stamping equipment in house. But we can, different, we can plate them differently. I, I send them the all, advanced plating does all my plating. Then obviously, then your last one, curved glass or flat. Optical glass, we don't use plastic, we use actual glass. We believe that the weight and the look of it is what an instrument is supposed to have. Then you start getting to where you want to do the versatility. So then you can start changing, again, pointers, glass, bezel, diffusers. The diffuser which diffuses light, which goes in the ring, which is the white piece you see here. You can change all those. All of those options, any of those changes, all those things we just went through, we can do in 48 hours. You can take one gauge, the speedometer, a three and three-eighths speedometer, 
and there's 700 different variations to that one gauge that we can do and deliver that within 48 hours. There's not a single instrument company in the world that can do that. We are the only ones that can do it. And then talk about cost at the change. There is, of course, a different cost. We have to change our manufacturing process. There might be a different price. But so we just made it common. Change a diffuser, it's two bucks. All you, different colors? Standard is. Everything is a variation from standard, and standard is always what you see in the catalog. All the different pointer options. So then here, just a real quick example for everybody on what you can see, one gauge, what it can look like by changing one component. The top left is what standard is, and then look at what you can do by changing diffusers, bezels, pointers. Just look at how different you can make that gauge. And again, deliver in 48 hours. Something that the team at Classic Instruments added is turn signals. One of the stuff that our hot rodders taught us by listening to our customers, they didn't like drilling the holes in their dash. So we said, why don't we just put it in the gauge? We started by doing the pull-through LED, standard LED that everybody had. We started by drilling holes in the um, faceplate, pulling them through, running the wires out the back, boom. Then with playing with this and some LED options, we started and we have Halo. We trademarked the name Halo for turn signals, high beams, warning lights, anything. So now you can have a light that you don't see it because they're kind of ugly. And you put those little dots in the face there, it really do kind of take away the aesthetics of the instrument. So why don't we just hide them behind and just let it glow? So just to uh, jump back on the example order, you have your standard order, curve lens. We upgraded on that particular one. There was a $15 upchange. This is all retail pricing, incidentally. <coughs> We wanted to add a gold bezel, your new part number, your new price. Wanted to change a pointer, sending units, total price. That gives you as the dealer, you can show your customer exactly what you did for he or she, the breakdown of what it cost, and there's your retail pricing. And as a dealer, obviously, you get your discount. The discounts carry through most every piece. Every gauge set that Classic Instruments sells, every set comes with every sending unit that instrument needs. A lot of our competitors to get price point, take out a component. I disagree with it. I believe that every piece has to be in there. We even go as far as to give you the nipple and the 45 degree angle for the oil pressure sending unit. It's another part that if you get stuck or your customer gets stuck so without that nipple at 45, being a hot rod builder, you can't find it. It comes, correct, it comes in the kit. Brass is very expensive. Brass is going up daily. I still stick with it. My customer needs it. Now, he may throw it in the garbage because he has one, but it's there if he needs it. And so we leave it in the kit, and I find it very important. The second thing I find very important, and talking about my competitors, is they put adapters in for all your water temps. All my competitors will do that. I disagree with that as well. It works on a grounding point. You just added another grounding point. Our number one nemesis to wiring and all gauges is grounding, and it's ugly. So now you're stacking a, an adapter to a piece. You're lifting the probe out of the water further. You're adding a ground. You're, you're, you're making the perfect storm for it to fail, and it's ugly. So we add, when you want a 3 eighths, we send you a 3 eighths. If you want a quarter, we send you a quarter. If you want half inch, every Edelbrock ever made was half inch, that comes in your kit. Ask for it, you'll get it. As a dealer, ask your customer. All we need to know is what engine, what transmission. We'll give you every sending unit. If you, don't, if you don't have time to know all that, if you don't know what a sending unit of 4L80E is, or if you don't know what a 350 gets, that's okay. If you tell our sales staff, I have a 350 motor with a 700R transmission, we'll take care of the rest. But it's also, as you get to know the product and you start studying, all the information is what I gave you, you can start becoming more knowledgeable about the product. Your customer sees that knowledge, you sell more. The whole idea is getting the dealers to sell more. We, we ship to eight different, uh, we have dealers in eight different countries. We shipped to 26 different countries last year. We have dealers all over the world. And the idea for us is we're a dealer-based company. We're trying to support our dealers. If you sell, we sell. It's really pretty easy. Sending units are just that. Standard GM kit, which is a 350, 350 trans, 327, 700. Pulse generator, half inch temp sender, your nipple, your 45, your oil pressure sending unit, your um, fuel, 
pressure or your fuel sending unit with gasket and screws. Float, all included. Everything you need to make your gauges operate. Standard GM. If you ask for a Ford, you get you get the Ford transmission piece, and you get the extra adapter that Ford Motor Company uses on the same OE part that for the oil pressure sending unit. We even add the Ford OE part for that one. That is a nightmare to find. If you don't have a Ford dealership or you can't get that part, that OE part is included in all the Ford kits. Same price. We do not upcharge for that particular part. We made this little chart for you. Just go down what engine and trans you have. Most all common combinations will give you what sending kit number to have, tells you what sending unit numbers are in that kit, and if there is an upcharge because of like some of the electronics that you get into, your 4L80s, 4L60Es, your Ford OEDs, things of that nature. Everything is laid out in a very, very simple chart for you. Get to know that chart, have that chart available. Your customer comes in, helps you get the right part, he or she is happy. You can get into more detail that we've made on a little larger sheet to get into the very specifics. If you want to get learn more about it, we recommend you do. But that's every list of everything that's ever built today. We'll add to it tomorrow, but that's the list today. Everything's available. Email, call us, we'll snail mail it to you. So then you start getting into all the different pieces. We do all the different sending units for the fuel gauges, 0 to 90, 0 to um, 30, 75 to 10, Fords, 18, 16 to 158, standard after bargain, 240 to 33. We built a deluxe one that has the return fees. All your different um, sending units for your water temp. Everything there is in stock. We guarantee everything's there. If you need it, it's there. If you make a mistake, your customer has it, he or she does not have to go back to, to you. Call it. Send me the sending unit, I'll swap it out. They, all, you, all they have is shipping. I can't give them the shipping on that one but I will swap out the part, same price, no charge. We all make mistakes. You get into some of the electronic parts. There's a pulse generator, which is a part that converts the cable to the electronics, comes in your kit. And then um, SkyDrive, which is what we won new product of the year with. We took the SkyDrive and we made an antenna. It's a GPS antenna that converts a GPS signal to an aftermarket speedometer. That little box will work with any electronic speedometer all my competitors and mine. We were the first one to come out with it. We've developed it. We brought it in. We actually took it out of the mining industry. Up in Canada, they have a requirement that some of their big equipment has to have a speedometer. Had no point. This part was developed. We learned about it. We brought it into the hot rod market. Now everybody makes one. But that little part will work with any classic instruments electronic gauge that was made since 1977 to today. It will convert your electronic speedometer to a GPS speedometer. We do not sell a GPS speedometer. We sell an antenna that operates any electronic speedometer. 250 bucks does everything. Retail. We developed something a little different. Um, Sky Fence is built into this that you can buy, I think it's $125 retail. We can add Sky Fence into all of our Sky Drives. Sky Fence has a device that you can set for distance to trigger a relay. That means that once you activate it, toggle switch hidden someplace in the car, once the vehicle moves whatever distance you want, let's pick 100 feet, so you say 100 feet, we program it for 100 feet, you trigger Sky Fence, which is inside of Sky Drive, once it moves 100 feet from its location of trigger, it will set a relay off. So you can make it do anything you want. A relay inside that? Nope, your own relay. So you want to shut a fuel pump off, you want to lock doors, sound a horn, we recommend a horn. So it, all the horn blows constant. Noise attracts people. Guys say he's stealing your car, he gets past 100 feet, the horn will blow and continue to blow. No, we do not do any tracking. Didn't want to get into that world, you get into the privacy world, you get into a whole nother ball of wax. We opted not to do that. That's, there's other companies that do that, Lojax, companies like that. That's their business. But this will activate. Um, we're working on trailer devices, putting trailer and it activates trailer brakes. Moves 100 feet, locks trailer brakes up. Sounds a horn, sounds a thing, turns on lights. Triggers charges C4. 
insurance companies don't like when I say that. Direct kits. The, the progression of classic instruments has gone from our round instruments to direct fits. How do we pick which direct fits we go to first? You. We keep a list with every phone call from every dealer, from every customer, from every show we do. We keep a list of what do you ask for that we don't have. Once we go through a couple times every month, we look at it, and as we see these numbers climb, or in our custom shop, we see those climb, that's when we start doing it. Right now, here's your list of all direct fit gauges that you have available. They're also in your catalog, just showing you a list of where we're at, and that grows every day. Any questions on any of that? Kind of, again, we're shooting, we're putting three hours into one. Autocross series, we've stepped into the performance industry. We don't make, it, a gauge doesn't know if it's a race gauge, a boat gauge, motorhome gauge, it doesn't know. There is no such thing as a race gauge. There's different dampening that you can add to make it so the pointer doesn't bounce. But we started, we decided that we wanted to be in the performance industry end of it because good guys came up with autocross racing and they would have all this autocross. We wanted to go to our customers. Kyle Tucker at Detroit Speed helped me out immensely on this. Tom Gale helped with the design of it. Obviously it has a little Ferrari look to it. But what we wanted to do is build an instrument specifically for the guys and gals that are racing autocross within our industry. So we developed an instrument that they get a shift light, they get warning, readability, usability, and for all the different things they do. They wanted oil temperature, boost. Didn't care about fuel, but since they were driving to events, needed the fuel. Oil pressure was important. Tack was the most important, so we highlighted the tacks, and then put a shift light in it for it. They needed that shift light. And it also, we can put halo in anything for any warning light. This is a very specifically designed, built, autocross performance racing gauge, designed for autocross racing. Very well received. Um, we've got it out there. It's going to be used a bunch this um, coming up season. It, w it was a home run for us. I'm a big baseball guy. You'll hear a lot of baseball stuff go on. Rocket tack, kind of a jump back. Kind of followed the classic instruments roots a little bit, going back, seeing what's going on. We really like the half sweep tack. So we had a little fun. It was groovy. It was nifty, half sweep, little boosters move as it goes up. Kind of that sun tack, everybody remembers the sun tack, um, things of that nature. So we really kind of went through and just had a little bit of fun, and it's just been, it's been a home run. I mean, that, that's really been a home run for us. They're, they're, they sell very good, great product. Looks good in a 60s type car. We took that 60s feel, font, the rockets of the 60s, all that stuff is kind of where we went with that. Fun product. Oh, absolutely. That's our standard. Uh, we have tax, our, uh, which is not 360, it's 270 degree sweep. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. ZST, talked a little bit about that. I do have four patents out on that. Um, instantaneous calibration will understand anything made by man, learn, teach itself, operate. Um, we made it self diagnostics. Number one problem we have on our tech side is diagnostic. Um, Diagnosing a problem within that, where does it get a signal, is it getting it? This actually has a device inside through the auto hole that if it's getting its signal, when you put it into mode, it will blink and flash a red light. If you're getting that light, it means it's getting its signal. What you need to test that signal cost about $900, a little oscilloscope like that to test any square wave signal. Most people do not have it. I have one, he has one. But we're probably the only two people in the room that has an oscilloscope ready to them. Your customers will never have it. So we built an oscilloscope inside the gauge. So we can tell the customer, or you can tell the customer, put it in this mode, move that piece. Is that light blinking? Yes, we know the signal's good. It's either from the ECU, from the pulse generator, whatever it's from, we know the signal's good. So it's built into it, and it's, and it's there for you to operate and use. No questions asked. If it's blinking, we know it's good. Something else is, we can chase it. Built that into it. Um, tachometer, we have guys running Viper motors. Jaguar motors, 12-cylinder, one-cylinder now we're seeing. So we, now it can learn one to 12 cylinders. Um, the electronics inside um, for vehicle speed sensor, we talked about that. Um, uh, the pointer, we smoothed out. We did a, what they call an averaging inside our software. Pointer is a much smoother action. As you hit it and go faster or quicker, it responds quicker. So we built that into it. Um, and the coolest thing that we built, and what everybody complained about was calibration. 
the number one complaint we had, no matter it be our competitor's gauge or our gauge, we did dip switches. Dip switches are the most accurate way to do it until ZST. Then there was a push the button, drive a mile, push the button. Very easy, but how far is a mile? How far is a mile? Nobody knew. Well, I go to the markers. Well, those were union workers that set those. Maybe they set those on Friday. Not playing that whole game, but maybe those things aren't exactly a mile. Or maybe you didn't push that button exactly at the mile. Any one of those two things are off, your speedometer's off. Okay? We developed instantaneous, drive the car 30 miles an hour. Everybody has a smartphone with a, with a speedometer in it. Drive it until you, we actually put an app out there. We have an app that'll give you a speedometer and say, okay, I'm at 30. Set that on your piece, drive 30 miles an hour, and it says 30 miles an hour, you hit the button, you're done. Your, your gauge is calibrated. It's never been done before. That's why we have a patent on it. That's why we have four patents on that gauge. Four patents, one product, because we didn't want it copied. Now we have that. ZST will be available in everything we have uh, within two years. We're, we're putting ZST in everything as we go. It's available if on request now. How much of a price adder for that technology versus a dedicated speedometer to calibrate for an application that comes in ready to go? $25. Okay. I'm giving you everything for $25 more okay. per gauge. And it's only the speedometer. So that, you don't need the SkyDrive for that either? SkyDrive, well, you do, it has to get its signal. Right. Yeah, but you add SkyDrive to it. Yep, you can add SkyDrive to anything, but it will accept SkyDrive, it'll accept anything. It learns, it's actually trainable. And that software, the, train about, the trainability of that software is what we patented. Very difficult to get patents right now. Um, it, it adds $25 to it. So, you know, if your spinner was $100, it was $125. Nope, that's fine. Nope, yep, no problem. 51, 52 Chevy cars, obvious. Hot Rod guys all here, everyone knows that, that was, that's our latest piece. We got, kept getting phone call after phone call after phone call. Um, so you get the ring, which is the stock feel to the ring. Bolts right in your 51, 52 Chevy car. Comes with everything you see there. 54, 55 Chevy first series trucks. That was finishing up our trucks. Everybody knows trucks, the number one growing industry right now from the wiring companies that we've everybody's seen trucks go crazy which is great young guys getting getting in on that obviously the chevelles were a big deal hollywood hot rod series troy if anybody knows troy at hollywood hot rods uh, troy approached us and his marketing team he wanted his own series of instruments and he wanted them to be available to everybody um, and we do that we do private labeling um, most of you probably could own classical instru instruments and not know it all moon eyes we manufacture with all Moon Eyes gauges for 25 years. Honest Charlies, Pete and Jake's, Bond Speed, Troy's, those are all classic instruments. Instruments. Everything that all our technology goes to them. And Pete and Jake is their 40th anniversary. There's 250 Pete and Jake's gauges available and there will only be 250 of those made. They're a huge, huge collection item and they went on sale three weeks ago. They're available through Pete and Jake's or any Pete and Jake dealer but to get a collector piece for Pete and Jake, the California kid, all that, the California kid is actually in the gauges. But there's only 250 units and only will be. It will be featured in Rotter's Journal coming up. One of the things that I've been working on for the last week, uh, I've been working on a Bonneville flat uh, car that's going to be here and that's going to be a Riddler contender. Um, I like racing. I race stock lemon at NHRA level. Uh, I'm a professional driver with NHRA. From a personal point of view, I ran alcohol funny or alcohol alters um, for eight years, and I've moved to stock eliminator. So I love racing. I don't have much time for it, but I love it. I got turned on to Bonneville by George Poteet. George Poteet gave me a seat, and I raced one of his cars out at Bonneville. So we decided, uh, learning that, how can we do the instruments? The biggest problem out at Bonneville is getting your license. Those that are familiar, you start with a D license, work your way up to an A license. It's all based on speed. You cannot go over the speed per your license. If you do, you get escorted off the salt or don't get a license. Nobody knew everybody was trying to fly by tack. George put me in the car, they strapped me in, this is where you're gonna go, we drive five miles, do not go over 125 miles an hour. I know I'm going 125 miles an hour. Keep the tack there. So now you're staring at a tack, staring at a tack. Well, innovation kind of steps in. We made a Bonneville salt flat speedometer that triggers through SkyDrive we can trigger in a light that says, okay, you're going 125 miles an hour, gauge glows, you see the glow down there, you can watch where you're going, go. Now your next license, 175, program 175, light goes on at 75. Blowfish had to go 350 miles an hour, 
we triggered it at 350 miles an hour. Very difficult gauge to test because I don't have a vehicle at home that does 350 miles an hour all the time and I, highway patrol really gets down on me. So we went with Blowfish to test that. Um, uh, the little red car set the record uh, at 200 and something, I forget, 215. Um, and he was the first one to have uh, the Bonneville flood. And he got his license, each one, until we programmed it, went through his license, and then he set a record. So that was a fun one. And that can be used for anything. You just use your mind. If you want to trigger it, you just want uh, your girlfriend's driving your car, and you just don't want her to go above 75 miles an hour, set it up for 75 and things, a glow red, she'll never go over. I mean, anything you can do, it can be triggered at that. It can roll your windows up at 60 miles an hour. You want to trigger it and trigger your relay, and at 60 miles an hour, your windows all roll up. You want your kids with the windows, you can trigger it that way. Anything you want to trigger with a relay can activate at speed. Custom gauges. This is where my absolute passion comes out. This is to where you can get anything you want, any color, any design, any option. The answer is yes on every custom question. Can I have? Everyone in our company is trained, yes. Your time, or your money, my time, I can do anything. Everything costs money. But just to go quickly through, change colors, put your logo in it, things of that nature. Quickly, you just send us a format. We do a design. We ship it back to you. You sign off. Once you sign off, we make it. If you need, want to send us color samples, send us paint. We'll send the parts to you to paint. Whatever, however, the variation you want, we can do. And you start to see what you can start developing. Bobby Alloway's couple of gauges that Bobby Alloway did for giveaway cars at the Shades of the Past. Bobby's a very close friend. Bobby and I have been friends for a long time. Uh, a week doesn't go by that I don't talk to him. And so we sponsor the Shades of the Past, his car show, and we do the instruments for the giveaway car every year. So we put his logo on it, change the colors a little bit. Start off with a simple drawing. Got a set of crayons? We can, we can do that. I work in crayons. We'll make a graphic proof. You sign off on the proof. You have your gauges. Very quickly, but that's a, that's a 10 cent rule about how that works. Then you get into custom graphics. Getting a little bit more into it. Got to start to see anything's possible. Then you can do custom retrofits. I brought you a 34 Plymouth to look at. Took that out of a junkyard. Sent it to advanced plating for the bezel to be plated. We did all the graphic works. We did all electronic works. Everything's done on a 3D model. We build the entire gauge in a 3D model. Send it off to our CNC equipment. Build the parts. Parts all go to the builders. The builders do the assembly. Graphic guys do the graphics. Gauge. That's our new uh, R&D room, or I'm sorry, that's our new um, machine shop and custom building room. We have all, all our retrofit, state-of-the-art graphics, premium lighting, customized renderings. We have all the precision measuring equipment, CMM arms, water jets. That's how we do all the equipment and building. Yes, that's how everything is. We used everything in water. Water is more friendly than laser. I have laser too, but I like water better and doesn't leave a burr, takes out the second step, I can build it faster, make it cheaper for you. That's what this gauge started out looking like. That's what I got out of the junkyard. You guys draw it. SolidWorks is what we work in. We start to make a computer in one level dimension and to build it into a 3D model. Then we get into the graphics to send the customer to sign off for what the graphics look like. We cut the part, laser the part, mill the part, bridge the part, deburr the part, pneumatically bezel the part, uh, measure the part, whatever you need to do there. Start doing mock-ups. We do all our wiring. The wonderful people at uh, American Auto Wire set us up on what the best wire is. They taught us, taught, taught us about different wires, quality, what's smaller, bendable, what's good, what's bad. Uh, and then they set us up on how to bezel or how to crimp, how to do everything. So we went to the best, learned the best, because this, every one of them is built. But you'll notice in all of our standard parts that we make a lot of, American Auto Wire makes all of our wiring harnesses. So for all the gauges in our direct fit, we go directly to American Auto Wire. We'll wire it in-house. You'll get the finished product. We'll give you a custom wiring diagram for your records. Each gauge gets its own. 
couple before and afters just for you. Junkyard to finish. And again, these are just what the customer chose. You, you can choose what you want. One of my favorite instruments. I love a 33 Plymouth. I love a 33 Dodge Moore. Anybody starting to get that I'm a Mohawk guy? I'll even do a Buick. Send in the cluster, ship us the cluster, we'll go through your notes, talk about it, we'll give you a quote. The quote, if you don't change, just like building a house, we don't change. We will, it's not an estimate. You can tell your customer, this is the amount, that's what it'll be, I guarantee it. As long as we don't make changes. If you make a change, then I'll give you the quote, re-quote re it. And I'll do up to three different renderings of the, for graphics. Once you get me online, I'll make three changes for you. After three, we've got to have a discussion because you're starting to shoot for the moon. We've got to talk. I do not do any restoration. I only do retrofitting. But I can make them look original. Electronics. That is retrofitting. We named retrofitting. Restoring is as it was. Most of you guys remember um, Alan Johnson's B400? One of the single most difficult instruments we built, multiple, multiple layers. One-off design, scratch built. A lot of different scratch built, starting with nothing and creating something. Those are really, really fun, and most of your Riddler cars, will, you'll see that they'll do that. Sky's the limit on this stuff. Troy, Troy Trepanier is just a riot to work with. He just sees things different than other people, and we have a lot of fun. Dealer support, you as a dealer, once you become a dealer, you get full support. Our website will have all your information to, to drive people to your stores. We do over 25 events um, throughout the United States. We go to shows. We do not sell at shows. We're there for dealer support. I carry stock. I'll do free delivery. We will show all the different parts. If I have it and you don't, you can take it out of my booth. I'll bill you later. And so we do all of these shows throughout to support you, the dealer, in your towns. I can make POPs, all that's done in-house, so your point of purchase displays. There's the one for, we did for Mutt and Jeff's. Um, they designed their own that graphically. Everything built, gauges, that fits what you want. We can, um, the POPs, we do uh, displays custom built for you. We can do product imagery, all of our pictures we have in line. We, do all our, we have a photography studio in-house, so we can take pictures for you. Banners, locators, things of that nature, of course. We do on-site visits. You want us to train your staff? We will come to your shop and train your staff. That's Bill Mullins. Most of you know Mullins Steering Gear. Bill's a full-time employee, he and his wife. Um, they're based out of Arizona. They handle everything left of the Mississippi. Bill's at a show right now in Arizona. Dealer support, we also do a, a national-wide print media campaign. There's a list of what we do for right now. That's uh, this, this year's um, magazines that we'll have. That's so you can, your customers can see more product and then we drive them to your store. We have an online presence. That's the list of websites we are either involved with or own. People we align ourselves with. Dealers, you can call a toll free number for support or ordering. You can email your order in. You can website it in through the website. You can fax it. And I always, as long as I own this company, you will never ever get an automated phone answer. You will have a person answer the phone always. I do not believe in having a computer answer the phone. You will talk to Lindsay or Mag, and Lindsay or Mag will get you to whom you need to speak to. You don't have to push one to speak in English. You don't have to talk to a computer. If you get put on hold, you get to listen to my good friend Dave McClellan while you're waiting for your next for your representative. But I believe very, very strongly in that, and that's the way it will always be. And again, every catalog has my phone number if you want to talk to me. If I'm doing the seminar, my phone's buzzing in my pocket, I'll call you when I'm done. Tech support, we have full tech support online. Everybody's there for everything. I'm going to back up there. Just, um, I also like to align myself with the industry leaders. I work very closely with Vintage Air. Their R&D apartment, their guys, their way they work, I work very close with them. American Auto Wire. Don's here. I spent this weekend, I was up thrashing at 2 o'clock in the morning helping a friend get a regular car. I had wiring questions. I called Don. Don, what's this? Don, what's that? Do, am I doing this right? It's 2 o'clock in the morning, my brain's not working. Is this right? Yeah, John, keep going. Do you want me to fly out there and help you? No. 
Detroit Speed Engineering, Kyle and Stacy, I knew them before you, the world knew them. It's good friends, they help tech support, we work with the cars. Ride Tech, they're doing a seminar here, I did it. There's a lot of good companies. These particular companies, I'm very knowledgeable. I know the owners, I know the employees, I spend time with them, they spend time with me. They believe in quality. Quality is where it's at. Are there other choices? Yes. Are there other good choices? Yes. But these people I trust. And being a 16 years of build, building high-end show cars, drivers and things of like this, these are the people that what the products that I used and I can prove they work. I've installed their products myself and I like them, I know them. And that's why I align myself with these people. I use them and they can use me. Um, and that's why I have hot rodders on staff. They've put these gauges in. They've wired these cars. Wiring is our number one problem. Everybody knows that. But there's simple ways to go through. Yes, sir. Who's 